guys got my ingrid goes west review for you today oh sorry guys ingrid goes west movie review today straight from gilbert arizona hashtag 2017 no filter gotcha What's up everyone, my name is Zach and I'm bringing you guys a brand new review today for Ingrid Goes West, directed by Matt Spicer. And Ingrid Goes West is one of those films that I didn't know what to think about it. I liked the trailer, I was intrigued to see it, I liked the cast, especially with Aubrey Plaza and O'Shea Jackson showing in them, and I was excited to see this, but I didn't know how I was going to feel about the film overall, and it turns out, I really dug this film. I don't know what this film's about, it's about Ingrid, played by Aubrey Plaza, who decides to move out west down to California when she becomes obsessed with this girl on Instagram, played by Elizabeth Olsen, who's kind of the celebrity Instagram famous star who posts a bunch of stuff, and she kind of becomes obsessed with this being a social media stalker, and decides to go out there and want to be her best friend. This film, this film is more of, it's not a comedy or drama in my fact. I would say this is a very big satire on social media itself and California life. Me being from California and knowing a lot of the California kind of things that this film relates to, it really struck gold to me because it was very funny and those facts because I know what they're talking about and even if you're not from California I think you'll still get a lot of the jokes because you can see that from just how movies and how TV shows portray California life and I, you'll all see that in here because it very much is a satire and the one big problem I do have to get for the film is what Matt Spicer does is that the film seems very dark at times and this film gets very dark but it never gets too dark to where it's predictable and where you think you know where it's gonna go and that's where I really have to claim him for because I didn't know where this film was going I had my predictions and I was kind of hoping it wouldn't go there and I have to be give big shout outs that every prediction I had of how dark I could think this film could get because I thought it had brought some American Psycho views to it I was like oh don't get that dark go don't get that dark and it never did it still came true to its satire look on California and social media life but it never became too dark and to the point where it overshadowed that satire and made it too dark of a film where you can't be laughing along and enjoying it. It's not all because of Matt Spicer. I have to give big props to also the cast involved, especially Aubrey Plaza, giving one of the best performances I've seen her give. I mean, she's been in Parks and Rec. She's one of my favorite characters in Parks and Rec. But I also loved her in Legion this past year where I thought she was just gave a fantastic performance in there. But I still just saw the same character, which was from Parks and Rec of April Ludgate. This film, I don't see that. She plays such a different role. And at first, she was kind of playing the same thing. But throughout the film, she gives some very great emotional beats to where I really believed in who she was. I didn't see her as Aubrey Plaza. I saw her as Ingrid. And that is major shoutouts for her because, again, her character, the way she played it, makes me still cheer for her character. Even though she's kind of a psychopath and crazy at times, she never crossed that big line of me being too overcooked for the role, but never crossing the line of where I didn't believe in her character and I felt it like it was unrealistic because I, this role felt very realistic of where this character arc goes and where her character develops to and I love that about this and her chemistry with O'Shea Jackson Ice Cube's son in here is also great he gives us a wonderful performance in here as well which is a major surprise to me because when I saw him in Stranger Compton I was like yeah he can play his dad but can he actually play a different role and he can he did a great job in here as well his chemistry is bouncing back and forth from Bobby Plaza was great I'd love to see those two work on a different project of course the celebrity here Elizabeth Olsen who plays the celebrity Instagram model who's super famous and stuff that Ingrid becomes obsessed with is also fantastic in here. Gore for this film was also wonderful and the script was very much well done. It never felt like the movie was too long or too short. It felt just right for me and I was very surprised to see that as well because if, like I said I laughed throughout the film. I had a lot of great moments in here even though some of the scenes were a little awkward to watch and a little hard to watch at times where it got really tense and you kind of felt slimy on on you like wow i feel like i'm in her position it never felt weird to me and i got weirded out and that's a great thing that the director did like i said this film isn't too dark to the point where you think it would get to and it never got there and that's a big pro for me because some films i might be like oh you should have gone that dark turn but this film it never got there and that's major props because this is a film that you would expect it to get there that said i'm gonna give ingrid goes west an a minus 
really enjoyed Ingrid Goes West. I think this is a very unique film, and it's very one of those ones that I think if you're looking for something different to see this weekend, I think this is a film that you should go check out, especially if you're a fan of Aubrey Plaza, or if you want to see what O'Shea Jackson's been doing after Straight Outta Compton, you'll totally see it in here, and I think you guys will deserve it, because he is a screenwriter, a wannabe screenwriter in the film, and I think my favorite thing about it was he's a fan of Batman, so if you're a Batman fan, you're going to get a lot of the jokes he says in this film. Always, guys, make sure to look out for more of you soon. If you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video and trust me i got lots more videos coming out soon i'm a big game of thrones fans got three more game of thrones videos coming out i got a death note netflix review coming out for you guys as well and as always guys make sure to stay classy and have a great rest of your guys day